I was born and raised in Ringgold County. Um, my family is from Ringgold County. I live in a, a little town by the name of Kellerton. You will notice it by the big blue water tower with the big horseshoe. We have a really nice horseshoe pitching court in our park in Kellerton. I'll be outside with the girls playing and I'll hear clinking coming from the park. There'll be people pitching horseshoes. Community and family are really important to us and that is why we've decided to stay in the little town and raise our family there. Olivia, who is eight, she talks about um, the park when we like to go to the park. She likes to play on all the equipment, but the most fun part for her is rock collecting. I like to collect rocks and they're evidently all over our house. My mom says some of them are not very cool, but I like them anyway. <laughs> My girls and I are a part of the local planning committee that puts on our 4th of July. It's a lot of work. Getting the slushy machine ready, making popcorn, getting the bingo table set up. You have to go and make sure your park is clean and ready to go. And make sure all the trash is picked up. And usually Sophia and I go play and now I have to watch her. I looked over at her and she was looking at something, you know, like toddlers do. And, and of course, what do they do the first time that they see something? It goes right into her mouth. And of course, then I kind of freak out and yell at her, Sophia, don't do that. We run over there as fast as we can and um, get it away from her, but it frightens her a little bit and she starts to cry. And it is a cigarette butt. Um, and we're in a park where she's supposed to be able to play and not have to worry about those things. And I got to looking around where she was sitting and there were several cigarette butts. Cigarette butts all over. It was kind of upsetting to me that that was in our park. And it's one of the big reasons that I think it's important to have tobacco-free parks. I think the challenge is around education. What an amazing opportunity that tobacco prevention grant is for our county and that's a really good selling point. It's that we have tobacco-free parks and that improves what we have here and makes me want to raise my children here and hopefully my children will want to stay here too.